Hi everyone, it's Anya here and I'm back with another video for Ophelia Talks and today we are making this bag here. So I am looking at this like a project bag maybe. Look, it can hold four skeins of yarn. So I'm thinking, yeah, that's really good for a project on the go. You know, take four balls. There's space for your, you know, scissors, hook and, you know, a square or something that you're making as well so as you can see of course i have finished it with a tassel because that was my leftover from the yarn it is made with an oval base and i made this with one skein of retwist cheney cotton cake it's a yarn by james c brett and it's a lightweight craft yarn which is made of new recycled fibers so the fibers are cotton and polyester and the crochet hook that we are going to be using is going to be between two and four millimeters so i'm going to be using the uh the trusted three and a half as usual and i also have my scissors of course darning needle and here are my stitch markers they will come in very handy for this project indeed so make your slip knot and it's really easy to get started from this cake because you start from the top there so it will come out from the middle insert your hook and you're going to be chaining 28 one two three and 28 so now we're going to place stitch markers into those first and last chains so one in here because this stitch here is going to be the center of one half of our circle and this stitch here is going to be the other center of a half of a circle because to make an oval you need half a circle here straight bits here and then half a circle there so let's get going on that so first of all we're going to make here a number of stitches into that particular stitch so we need to do half double crochets so we're going to do two chains one two so this is my half double crochet then we're going to do another two half double crochets into this chain so we've done three half double crochets so to speak into this chain there and another one in there as well so when we come back, we will have to do another three because we need six to make this half circle here. Now we're going to go all along the chain and that should be 26 stitches. And we are going to be placing half double crochets in there. So I'm picking up two strands of that chain. I will see you at the end of the row. So I have made it to the end of the row. I've stop just in front of the stitch with the stitch marker in it obviously this is my first chain so now i'm going to be placing six half double crochets into this first chain but please make sure to see where you're going to put it this is the location that's easy to get into but it also expands you see and there's no point in it expanding because it's difficult to close it up again so we are going to try and put six half double crochets into there see where these two strands cross and that way you are as usual picking up two strands and it will not expand now do your first half double crochet then 
move your stitch marker into that stitch that you have just done there and that will indicate that this is the start of our half circle when we get back there of course and now we have to do another five half double crochets into that same location So that's three, four, five, and this is number six. And once again, just to make sure I know where I'm at, I'm going to be placing another stitch marker into that sixth half double crochet just so that you know we know where the half of our circle finishes and now I'm going to go along the chain here once again picking up the chain but of course this time it's just a back bump that's left over so I'm going to be using that and I'm also going to be taking along here my end and that way you will have sewn it in now often it's not so easy to get into this back bump but look if you turn your hook you can get into it so work your way all along the row to the stitch with the stitch marker. So I've made it to the end of the row. This is that first stitch in which we did that chain two and then two more half double crochets. So we need to do another three half double crochets into this bump here. But I think I might just have to remove the stitch mark, otherwise I'm not going to be able to get into there. So put the stitch marker to the side because of course we are going to put it into that first stitch that we are going to do right now that will indicate the start of our half circle and we still have to mark this one here as well so we might as well do that straight away so this was my chain this was my first and that one was my second half double crochet so we're all sorted there as well so now i need to do two more half double crochets into that back bump there there we go and then of course we have to make sure that we close our round with a slip stitch but we mustn't create more v's so we've got one two three four five so under the this v here i'm going to go and create my slip stitch and that is then my sixth v see so that way you now also have one two three four five six little v's which will be your half circle on that side so this is the start of our oval base so now we are going to chain two and in a circle, in the second round, we place two stitches in each stitch. So this is going to be our second stitch coming out of this V because it's sort of in that second position. So we're going to just disregard this for now. So I'm going to go to the next one and the next one I'm going to place in each of those. I'm going to place two half double crochets. There we go. And then in the next one, there we are. And another one. Voila. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> it formed. So that's good. And now I am going to move this stitch marker because, of course, in the next round, this one is going to be our last stitch. 
So there we go. Okay. And now we are going to place a half double crochet all along our side. And then, of course, here I'll be back to show you what to do on that half of the circle. I've made it to just before the stitches of the half circle. So I'm now going to be placing two half double crochets in each of these six stitches. And of course, I've just done my first one. And I'm going to move the stitch marker so that I know where my first stitch is next time. It just makes it a little bit easier. And yes, it looks as if my hook is quite small for this yarn, but I'm wanting to persevere with it because I really want a sturdy bag and I want it to stand up a little bit. So, you know, hopefully that will do the trick. I mean, it's not too bad. Just need to get used to it as well. So there we go. So I've done my, yeah, see? Had I not put my stitch marker there, I would have thought this was my first one. So, yes, yeah, so it's, it is it is a good thing to use the stitch markers. So there we go. So here is my last stitch. So this is the one where I have to do the last set of two. So let's do that. There we go. And then into this last stitch here is where I am going to be replacing the stitch marker. There we go. And now, of course, we are going to be placing the half double crochets all the way to this stitch marker. So I have made it to the stitch with the stitch marker. I am going to remove it just so it's easier to work in it. So I know this is where I have to get started doing my two half double crochets in the stitch so there we go so i've done my two and of course i am going to replace my stitch marker i've done two so i've got to put it here because that is the first stitch that i did honestly these things <laughs> There we go. OK, <laughs> it's in. <laughs> so, OK, we will continue with placing two half double crochets into each V here. And of course, now we get to this one here where that chain is coming out of. So we need to just put one half double crochet in there. And then the slip stitch will lie over that chain two, and we are going to place it under this V here. So now, if you count, you should have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve to the next stitch marker, and that is correct. So this is our base for our bag. Now you can make this base as big as you want, but from stitch marker to stitch marker around the half circles, you have to do the increases for a circle. From stitch marker to stitch marker along the width of the base, you're just placing half double crochets. So I am going to continue here doing my chain, disregarding it. And of course, now we are in the third round of a circle. So that means you do one half double crochet in the first stitch and then two half double crochets in the next stitch. One in the next and then two in the one with the stitch marker. I know it's the next one, so I'm just going to remove it to make it easier for me to work in it. 
So two placed in there. And I am going to replace my stitch marker into that second one because it makes it so much easier to remember you know, where to start doing the circle and where to finish doing the circle. And then of course now I'm just going to do my half double crochets along the side. Okay, so I've made it to my stitch marker here on the side, just going to remove it for ease of working. So again, we start the increases for the third round of a circle. So that means you start with just the one half double crochet, replaced my stitch marker. Then you do two in the next stitch. one in the next, two in the next, and so on. And the stitch markers do help enormously because of course they indicate where you have to do what. So here I'm going to have to do two stitches into this stitch with the stitch marker. So let me just remove it. one and two and then of course also I'm going to replace it because it is handy and now I'm just going to go and do half double crochets again all the way to this stitch here so once again I have made it to the stitch with the stitch marker and I'm going to start doing my increases for row three. So that starts with one half double crochet, replace the stitch marker, and then we do two in the next stitch. And then one and two. one and two yep <laughs> and then one in the next one and then of course here we have that stitch where that chain is already coming out of and that's indeed our second one so we just need to place one half double crochet in there skip these two chains go under the next V and we do a slip stitch. I'm pulling so it's all nice and tight to close our round here. See? So this way we have now completed one, two, three rounds and the base of our bag is now six half double crochets wide basically. Now I think I'm going to do another one. I want this to be a bag where I can actually put a couple of balls of yarn in and, you know, a little bit of my project, obviously. So, yeah, let's see if we can manage that. Two chains. Once again, disregard. This is the increase for round four of a circle. So that means we're doing one half double crochet in the first stitch, one half double crochet in the second stitch and two half double crochets in the third stitch. And look at that, my yarn is changing colour. So one, one, and then here the stitch with the stitch marker, just taking it out, I'm going to be doing two. and replacing my stitch marker. There we go. Voila. And off we go again. Doing 
a half double crochets until we get to the other side of our bag for the other half circle that we are doing there. Okay, so I've made it to my stitch marker. One half double crochet here, which I will remark. <laughs> there we go. Then another one, and then two. So doing the increase for round four. One one and two so I'm at the stitch marker once again removing it and I've got to do two half double crochets in here so one and two and then I'm replacing the stitch marker into the last stitch. There we go. And off I go doing my half double crochets again. Made it to that stitch with the stitch marker again, taking it out. So here we're going to get started again with the increases for round four so that means one half double crochet in the first one replacing my stitch marker there we go and another one in the next stitch and another one in the next stitch and then two in the next And that is how we are going to complete this round. Oh, and then two individual ones. And then here, of course, we add the first one to the stitch with the chain. Skipping the two chains, going under the V and doing our slip stitch there we go so this is going to be the base of my bag now the thing is i didn't need to replace these stitch markers here but in case you wanted to make it even bigger you need to keep on replacing them of course so from now on we are going to be placing one stitch in one stitch so no more increasing to be done so i'm going to remove the stitch markers and this is the front of our work this is the back so we are going to be working with the front towards us and we are going to be doing a round of half double crochets to get started so we're going to chain two and this particular first round of half double crochets is going to be placed in the back loop and the third loop so this here are the two strands of your v this one here is the back loop so the one that's sort of lying at the back this one is the front loop so we're going to be picking up this strand here as well as this strand here the reason why we do that is if we pick up this back loop only it will expand if we pick up the back loop and let me just show you the third loop I'm going to pull it does not expand so yarn over into the first stitch pick up the back loop and the third loop this will take a little bit of time for you to do that but it's very very much worth it and then you do your half double crochet. Why is it not working? There we go. So yarn over, insert into your, yeah, look. There is a certain sort of angle that you will have to get used to. And if you get that angle, look, it goes 
into that third loop as well. So picking up the back loop, the third loop, pulling up a loop and doing your half double crochet. And because we won't be increasing anymore, our sides will soon stand up. So this is how you are going to go around all the way around your base until you are back where you started from. So when you're doing this, make sure you tilt your work each time so you can check that you are in fact picking up the back loop and the third loop. Okay, so I have made it all the way round. There is that chain coming out of this last stitch, so I'm not going to place another stitch in there. Skipping the two chains, I'm going under this V here, and I am going to pull it tight and do a slip stitch. There we go. So yes, I've already got a nice edge here now. So picking up the back loop makes that you have a lovely little ridge here that's left over from your front loop, of course. And picking up the third loop makes sure that you have a nice non-holy edge here. So now we're going to chain two. And now I am going to place half double crochets in each stitch around. And basically I'm going to keep repeating this row. And to be honest, I thought about doing a nice intricate stitch and everything. But you know what? I think the nicest and simplest ways of doing this are the best. So I'm just going to place half double crochets all around, rows of half double crochets. And I'm going to let the yarn colours speak for themselves. And as my colour changes, so will my bag. So I'm just going to keep doing my half double crochet rows until I think it's time for the handles. Just wanted to show you the progress I have made up till now. I'm about to, you know, nearly, well, I think I'm over half in this cake, but look what a spacious bag this is making because I can just put, you know, two cakes like that into it. So, yeah, I'm having great fun making this because, of course, I love the colour grading in this. Look at how lovely this is going. Okay, so I'll better get on and do some more. Okay, so I'll go around now and start the handles. And to do that, I have placed stitch markers. Now, I've long learned my lesson about counting on video, <laughs> so I have done it beforehand. So these two here, these indicate the middle. So there's the same amount of stitches on this side as there is on this side. And then I just counted in 16 stitches and then I placed a stitch marker. So 16 here, 16 there, 16 there and 16 there and this here is going to be the width of the handle so I'm thinking yeah that that should be okay so really I could remove these here because they're not really necessary the ones in the middle same thing again chain two and you do your half double crochets until you meet the stitch marker. So I've made it to the stitch with the stitch marker. I am going to place a half double crochet in there. The amount of stitches between the stitch markers is 15. So I'm going to start with chaining 15. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 and 15. But if you want a handle, of course, that's not going to be long enough. And look, it isn't long enough. So looking at this, I think I might need to chain 20. 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. And that will get me there. And look, that's perfect. So 20 chains. 
So it's always good to try and see how far you get. Make a chain of the length of your stitches and then see how far that gets you and how far you want it up. But I think that's perfect. So then I've done a half double crochet in my stitch with the stitch marker. And now, of course, I'm going to make my way all the way to the other side where I will do the same. When I meet the stitch marker, I will do a chain of 20 and then start again with a half double crochet. And then, of course, I will finish my round and I will meet you right there. Just made my second handle with my chain there, made it to the end of the row, just doing my slip stitch. This time we're going to chain one. So we're going to do a round of single crochets. And I will see you when you get to the chain. So I've just done the stitch before the chain. Now, as you know, you've got 20 chains here. So I'm going to try and do 25 single crochets around the chain. So just placing them neatly and nicely next to each other. I'm not counting. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, maybe even scooting them over, but just making sure that they are nicely positioned. In fact, I put 26 stitches around the chain because I just had a little gap left there and I thought I'd put another one. So yeah, I think this is nice. And now I am just going to keep on doing single crochets until I meet, of course, the other chain where I'm going to put 26 single crochets around it. And then I will meet you at the end of the row. Oh, look, my color is changing. So it looks like I will have two colors for my handles. Just made it to the end of the row. And you know what? I think I'm going to leave it at this. I've got a handle in each color. I love that. And I think it's okay like this. I was going to go around again and then just go over this to make it thicker. But I do have mm, yarn left, but not enough, I don't think. So do I need to tell you what I'm going to do with my leftover yarn? Do I? Can you guess? <laughs> I'll show you a tassel what else so I'm going to put a bead on the tassel try to get them on a needle somehow and then put them through there we go so the bead is on so yes I had to go and get some cotton from my collection to make this band because obviously this was the last bit of um, chainy cotton that I had so there was no contrasting yarn anymore left over so really I could have done with cutting some of this grey off or even some of this but you know in hindsight and then I'm just going to attach the tassel can you see this in this hole here so I'm just going to put my hook through put that loop around and just pull that through and then I'm just going to knot it and then work away the ends with my needle into the fabric. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next video.